Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to Fallout 4, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have a couple of quick things to discuss before we get started here. Number one is that I've been reading the comments, and some of you are concerned with how slow the LP is going. And believe me, I understand that. This is a new game, and a lot of huge channels are uploading multiple parts per day. But you gotta understand, they're, they're sort of scrambling to do that to get as much content out there as possible. And yes, I'm a YouTuber too, I should be doing that. But the thing is, I would much rather prefer quality over quantity um, I'd much rather upload one good episode per day rather than try and upload as many as possible number one because that leaves me with so much less time you guys really don't know how long it takes I mean I don't want to say all of you don't know but a lot of you don't know how long it takes to and I'm not trying to be uh, pa patronizing here I'm just saying a lot of you don't know how long it takes to actually make one of these videos so I record this for like 20 minutes and then I have to rewatch it and edit it which takes anywhere from like 20 to 40 minutes then I have to render it and because it's 1080p 60 frames per second even though the Xbox uh, one isn't really 60 frames per second that takes another like two hours and then uploading takes another hour so it's a lot of time for one episode and I'm not making excuses I'm just trying to let you all be aware of how these things work um, and also so it leaves me with a lot less time to make other videos like the ones you've been seeing including Fallout 4's Hidden Treasures and it would just burn me out super quick if I was you know just trying to scramble to make as many episodes as possible and let's be honest you know as this game is very long and I'm going to try and complete most if not everything in this let's play so eventually it is going to have to slow down you know I, even if I was making like four episodes a day I'd have to slow down eventually I couldn't do that you know until we finish the game because that just leaves no more time for me in the day to do anything and it ties my computer up for the entire day. So that's the first thing. And the second thing was, if you guys follow me on Twitter, some of you may have heard that um, I was going to switch to PC for recordings. I actually made a PC character and got up to exactly where uh, our Emery, this guy right here, was. But the thing is, um, I've been having a lot of performance issues and I wasn't at first. And I'm trying to speed this up because I know we're already like two minutes into this. Um, I was having a lot of performance issues. I wasn't at at first, I was in the home and in the vault, but then when I exited, uh, everything was really smooth and buttery, and I was like, sweet, I'm going to go ahead and switch, because, you know, it's going to be a lot better looking. But the thing was, after that happened, I messed with the settings, and I don't know, there's a lot of screen tearing, there's a lot of stuttering, and I've tried everything. I've tried messing with the any files, I've tried changing all of the settings to the lowest possible, and it, it like makes it even worse. So I don't really know what's going on. I know there are a lot of PC performance issues with the game, and that's why it's gotten a lot of negative reviews. I don't know if it's my computer or if it's the game itself. It shouldn't be my computer, because it should be able to run it uh, close to max, if not max. But anyways, we'll stick with the Xbox One version for now. Um, Alright, so let's get into the actual... Let's play. It's about time, isn't it? Alright, so in the last episode, we helped all the settlers in Concord, and they've moved over to Sanctuary, and I said I'm not sure if we were going to go ahead and explore Diamond City, if we were going to talk to these people first. And I think we're going to do that. I'm just going to show you guys basically how the uh, structure building works and all that, and then we will go and try and find Diamond City. So let's go ahead and go into our Pip-Boy and our data. We have when Freedom Calls, join Preston Garvey in Sanctuary. Alright, so let's see. We have one mark which is somewhat off yeah I've noticed these NPCs take quite a while to get over to um, sanctuary once you finish that quest you can see he's like 20 meters in the distance there he is and also I know a lot of people are saying this let's play is slow moving so I'm gonna try and speed it up a little bit but again you know I prefer quality over quantity hope I hope a lot of you guys share that sentiment hey uh, good with to see me you again I was hoping you'd show up I should have listened to mama Murphy all along Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Okay, awkward, uh... <laughs> awkward bug yet again. I've heard there's a lot of these mind. things going on. But I've got another favor to ask. 
I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Alrighty, we've completed When Freedom Calls, and also we have leveled up. It's not going to give me another level up, is it? No, it is not. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, one thing I realized was I should have been uh, putting perks into the lockpicking and the hacking. So here we have the locksmith perk, and here we have the hacker perk, which is going to let us uh, lockpick and hack, respectively, the advanced and expert and all those sort of things. So we'll start off with locksmith, and I, there, locksmith, and I think we'll just switch off. So, your nimble fingers, ah, uh, let's go, Vana, I can't even talk, okay, your nimble, oh my god, your nimble fingers allow you to pick advanced locks, there we go, and it's the same thing for hacker, and we'll basically just keep switching off, because this, honestly, is the most important, these two are the, honestly the most important perks, um, alright, so before we do go find Diamond City, we'll start with the first step, no, not that, we want to talk to Sturges, which should be over here. Now, I was originally avoiding this, but once I started getting into it, I was having a lot of fun with it, so it is a really cool mechanic. Um, I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Yeah, no problem, bud. All right. So, yet again, Sturges is not here. Actually, I think he's the one hammering that wall, so he should be... As long as we find where that hammering is coming from. Where is the hammering coming from? It sounds like it's coming from inside here, but I guess it's not. Come on, dog meat. One thing I've noticed with the NPCs is they do block you, like, in doors and stuff, which really does suck. I hate when that happens. Here's well, Sturges. Some work. I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Alright, so here we have a quest called Sanctuary. And it starts you off on the building of Sanctuary. Like the rebuilding of Sanctuary. And it's so much more fleshed out than I thought it was. I mean, you can really delve into this. A lot of people are giving complaints about how the UI works. But basically, we want to head over to the workshop and press A. And now we have a building menu. Okay. And so, Sir just wants us to build beds. So we go to furniture, we go to beds, and then we can pick what we want to use. Um, I've been using sleeping bags. And so once we press A on that, you can see it's sort of like the Sims. I mean, it's a lot like the Sims. You can place them down wherever. I've been placing them like right here. So we need to make like, um, I think five beds. So you can see it says build with cloth and we are out of cloth. So we need to move to something else. We're actually out of all the stuff that is required to build beds. At least we don't have any cloth is what I mean. So I just wanted to show you guys that there is a really fleshed out system here. And we can also hover all this stuff and press X to scrap it. And you can see we're going to get a ton of uh, various materials. And actually you can scrap entire houses as long as they're destroyed like this. And you can see we get steel, wood, concrete, rubber. Uh, we need cloth though. So we could go into a house and like destroy a couch. Actually, yeah, let's go do that. So there's a couch. And if it's green, that just means that you can pick it up and move it around. I mistakenly thought that if it's yellow, that means you want to scrap it. But really, all that means is you can't move it. Um, okay, so it's... Alright, so we'll place one more bed and then we'll go ahead and move on. I just, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys how this works. Oh no, my inner OCD, I can't place it like perfectly straight. Alright, let's just go like right there. Alright, so we'll hold off on the Sanctuary quest for now and also the side quests. Uh, we can hold the back button to exit this um, menu here. Alright, so let's go back into our Pip-Boy and get back on track. So here we have the Jewel of the Commonwealth. Go to Diamond City. If we press X to show on the map, there's Diamond City. One thing that's interesting about Fallout 4 is like all of the icons are unique. So here we have the museum and obviously Sanctuary and the Red Rocket Truck Stop. I still don't know if they've done that for every single location in the entire game. I've noticed a lot look like just straight up buildings. But uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Alrighty, now one of the things that's interesting about my Let's Plays are that, or is that, 
Um, a lot of people sometimes want me to explore fully, like if I'm going from one location to another. See, as you can see here, we're at the Museum of Freedom, and we need to go all the way down here to Diamond City. Now, so some people might prefer that I just skip to when we get to Diamond City, while other people might prefer that I show the entire way. So I think I'm going to show the entire way to get to Diamond City. I mean, this is very reminiscent of uh, Fallout New Vegas when you're heading to Prim for the first time, and there's a lot of unique things along the way, like that mole rat and that... Uh, or no, the gecko and the um, rat roach always having a scuffle. So I think I'll, I think I'll show the entire walk to Diamond City because there are some unique things and interesting things. And uh, you guys can give me some feedback whether you'd like to see a lot of exploration or a lot of jump cuts yeah. or jump cuts. Okay, here we have Trash Can Excuse Carla, me. which is a merchant. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Who needs directions when we have a pit boy? Let's, Let's see what, see what she done. has for sale. I have a little bit of everything. So this person is known to stop in Sanctuary, which is great because she has a lot of junk which you can use to um, make stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and buy all of her bobby pins. It's only going to cost us 18 caps. And we only have like 161. We're going to have less after this. So we don't really want to spend any money just yet. All right, so in the distance there, you can see on our pit boy on our compass, um, we have like a sort of trailer-looking icon, and here we have something. I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. Yeah, let's save the game right here. Now, one thing I really don't like, by the way, is how they have the saves. Hand over the goods. Um, like, there's not one main save. Like, a lot of these are just auto saves, and it keeps making saves. Like, I, I really would prefer that they had it how Skyrim was, where basically you have one save that you keep saving over, and then you have all of the other auto saves. You can't even tell these apart. Like, I really, really don't like that. Don't know why they did that. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Whoa, whoa. Do you know what that Easy junk has done scared. to my boy? This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. That's it. You're dead. So that's why I saved the game. Um, I want to pass that speech check, so we're gonna keep trying this until it works. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her. But it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Want to make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. So, what's interesting is, we have like a boomer situation with Fallout New Vegas. I mean, <laughs> hell, the person over there is even named Trudy. Uh, we can like help the bad guys, or we can, you know, see what's going on and help who we want to help. So, let's talk to Trudy. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Alright, so we have Wolfgang, we have Simone, we also have... Hold on a second, Simone. Was the lady in the Mothership Zeta DLC, was her name Simone? Because they look sort of similar. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Nevertheless, we have a new quest here called Order Up. Uh, and 90% 90 90 of people are going to come across this, but let's talk to Trudy. Actually, before we talk to Trudy, though, let's save the game again. Okay. Hello, Trudy. Hey there. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. I got a better idea. You take care of Wolfgang. I'll pay you a hundred caps to put a bullet between his eyes. Nope, not happening. So, one of my biggest gripes with this game is how, like, charisma doesn't matter at all. And so, a lot of people did think that, you know, speech was OP. It was, honestly. You could talk your way around any situation, pretty much. But now it's just like, hey. speech doesn't matter at all. Charisma doesn't matter at all. And I'm sure there are well, perks that allow you to uh, pass money. persuasion uh -huh. checks Look, you uh, more me. often. All right. But still. I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money. But I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. All right, so we will look at Trudy's inventory. Actually, before we do that, let's talk we to Wolfgang. We get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. 
Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? Not right now. And we've completed a fairly easy quest. Let's see if we get a level up. Looks like we might. Oh, so close yet We're so open far. We're for business again. A little lighter in the pocket thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? Okay. Uh, we're just going to look All at what she has. But nothing's junk. Even though I know we're not going to be buying anything. The reason I want to show you guys is because if we go to weapons, she has a unique weapon called General Chow's Revenge. And it looks like a sword. But we would need 20 or 2,015 caps to buy it. Now, what's interesting is I tried locating it on her. Uh, she does have a safe back here that's advanced, but it's not in there. It's not on her person. If we kill her, we can't loot it. So I'm not even sure if you can get it somehow, which is uh, pretty I'm interesting. The jet again, I swear. Something tells me you are not sincere. All right, so we are done with that debacle, that diner debacle. Now we're going to continue heading over to... Uh, Diamond City. I haven't really done a lot of exploring, like I said, so I see a truck over here. Let's see. Just some packs of cigarettes. Let's open this Edotronic. Nothing inside. That's the second Edotronic I've found with nothing inside. Looks like there's not really a point to that truck. All right, we have a house on the right. Also, I've noticed a lot of locations in this game do not have actual locations you can fast travel to. They're few and far between, it would seem, but we have a house over here that I did not explore. So let's head in here just to see if there's any... Oh my god, okay. That was creepy as hell. Daddy, I thought that was like an like Easter egg or something. Oh, Charlie, you look beautiful. Just like a princess. I have not seen or talked to this to these people yet. Hey, so. sweetie. Hi, mister. Way to sound creepy, Emery. <clears throat> huh? Huh, these people are not saying anything. But they are uniquely named. And we can take the uh, Simpack and the Rat away. Alright, so this is my debacle. It's like... I said debacle twice this episode now. This is my debacle. It's like, do I explore or do I appease the people that are telling me to keep this Let's Play moving super quick? I, I think I gotta be true to myself and do what I want to do. That's gonna make the Let's Play more enjoyable, right? So yeah, I haven't really explored these areas too much. Um, I think I just made a beeline for Diamond City the first time I got there. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and differentiate. A lot of people also were saying they didn't like how this wasn't blind anymore, and I understand that as well. But I am going to try and differentiate this Let's Play from my other files. I'm gonna try and do different things at different times, so that a lot of it will be blind. Okay, I thought that was a mongrel for a second. Why don't we have a weapon equipped? Never re really used a pipe revolver, so let's use that for now. Okay, we have some structure on the left here. Um... Not looking like there's anything inside. Let's just double check though up here to see if there's anything. Here we have some 5mm rounds and what appears to be a roach. Okay, we also have a toy rocket ship. I'll take that because I haven't seen that before. And what was that? You shunk a hat. Interesting. Okay. Dog me, what are you doing, man? You're just letting that puny rad roach hit you from the back? I think we just got a double kill there. Alright, we've leveled up. Let's hold B to open the perk chart. And now we will put up hacker so we can hack advanced terminals sweet alrighty so to the left there we have the core vega uh, assembly plan i've actually not even been there yet i know apparently that is a location you you access early on in the game i think if you do the minutemen quests which is something i haven't really done so maybe that's something we can do in that in this let's play that's what i'm saying like okay we've also gotten a quest called fire support listen to military frequency af95 I haven't done that, so let's go ahead and listen to that. If there's even a frequency. Is it doing the same thing where it stops it? Okay, I must have the radio turned off. That's what's going on. I mean, of course, I, I showed you guys that I had it turned off, but um, I turned it back on at some point. All right, let's try that again. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance. Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Okay, so it looks like we got a message from what appears to be Brotherhood of Steel. She said there was a scribe, right? She said she was a scribe, so. Not too sure uh, about that because I have not done that yet. 
But I think the first thing we will do is get to Diamond City and then we can go from there as to what we want to do. And also I'll be looking at your guys' feedback. Um, even though... Uh, one thing I've noticed is that landmines do a lot of damage in this game. I've been killed by at least like four landmines. Okay, so we're going to follow the road. Oh, this is where the Easter egg was, wasn't it? Yeah, somewhere over here is that Easter egg that I made a video of, the uh, the Jaws Easter egg. There's some fire going on to the left there. That must be the Cambridge police place that uh, the military recording was talking about. Unfortunately, they're going to have to solve that for themselves because I am on a mission. All right. So I wonder all this. Uh, I wonder about all the stuff that we've missed so far on this road because there were a lot of things to explore. Like I said, you know, I'm trying like 50-50 to go to explore and also to keep the Let's Play moving. Let's see, how close are we to Diamond City? We are... Decently close. Okay. Let's see if we can jump over this. We can indeed. Also, if you didn't know, cars retain their giant explosive radius uh, in this game, which is kind of cool. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Funny story, I actually started to do a Hidden Treasures for that one and then realized halfway through that it was actually quest related and then have, had to stop and I thought my commentary was pretty spot on so that was kind of disappointing and by kind of I mean a lot okay but there is something special in there so I might do a video just on that alright so this is a good place to stop ladies and gentlemen in the distance there you can actually see Diamond City it's just past this bridge which we will enter in the next episode thanks for watching this one ladies and gentlemen I will see you guys there bye bye